Hi there. In this QuickBooks Online video, we'll quickly look at uh, budgets and tagging. So I'll quickly log in. I'll choose sign in to QuickBooks Online. And I'm going to quickly um, create a budget for the current year. So I'll choose the gear icon, budgeting, add a budget. I'm going to call it budget 2021 or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to st stick with the defaults here. I'll choose next. And I'm just going to budget for one account. So in real life, I would budget for every single revenue account, every single expense account, but I'm just going to quickly budget just for one. So I'm going to type in 20000 a month for revenue, for sales. Um, I, if I click on this little blue arrow, it'll populate that 20000 across. If I need to adjust, so for example, in October, if we expect we're going to make a little more, I could type in 22000 and adjust across from that point or you could type in specific amounts for example if in June maybe we expect to do a little worse 18,000 and I'll choose save so once you create a budget you can compare your budget against the actuals notice that we have a run budgets versus actual report right here on the budget. We can also access this via the reports. I'm just going to quickly hide the sidebar here and I'm going to specify just the one month I have data for. So that is for me 1 12 21 2 31 12 2 1 and I'll run report. So that's my actual sales budgeted figure, so I need to catch up quite a bit. Uh, something that's similar than, to uh, budgeting in that we can compare um, how we're doing uh, versus another amount is tags. So if I choose my gear icon and I choose tags, I'm going to quickly create a new group. So this group is going to be departments and then my departments will be hardware software and service so I can quickly just save the departments and then add those three departments so I'll type in hardware add software. Now the last one I'm going to do is slightly different. I'm just going to close this and come back to it because we actually get a different interface once we've left the new group that we've created. So I'm going to choose uh, add and then done. I'll go back home and back to the t tags. And I'll choose new, tag, and this last one will be service. And the group will be departments. So again, you can add all of your departments all at the same time after you've created your group, right at the group, or you can come back and add a tag to a group. Now let's quickly, I'm just gonna quickly add two transactions, two sales, uh, one for hardware, one for service and then we can see how we can compare those two things. So I'll go to sales, invoices, create invoice, just quickly uh, add a new customer and choose save. All we need is the name. 
this will be today and notice we have tags down here so when I click on the field I can pick up hardware and we'll they're uh, buying an HP laptop I'll choose save a new and we're also selling some service to Suzanne Blackstone which is service give her a couple of hours and save and close so if we want to compare those two tags to each other that is the two departments we simply go to the, back to the tags And you can see there's hardware, there's service also. If you want to take a look at a particular department, how it's doing, you can just run a report on that department. So a very handy way of uh, categorizing your various transactions. So that's uh, budgets and tags. Thanks so much for watching.